When I lift weights, I don't hear things, I don't see things. I know it sounds weird, but I'm so focused on lifting that everything else kind of blanks out. When I was super depressed, weightlifting was a reason to do something. I do think it helped me manage those mood swings. You know, being bipolar is something that I'm proud to say, like I'm okay with it, and I would like to erase the stigma on all mental disorders. Growing up, sports were always pretty important to my family, and I spent 11 years doing gymnastics. When I was 15 years old, I decided to end my career in gymnastics, and I found CrossFit just to stay in shape. Through CrossFit, my current coach recruited me to get into weightlifting competitively, and I decided to take that on full time from there. I've been weightlifting for about four years. Uh, my first national competition was Youth Nationals in 2016. About two years into my career, I kind of realized I could go places with this. In 2018, I had my first international medals at the Junior World Championships. And from there, it kind of took off. And last year in 2019, I had my breakout year. The highlight would be my 2019 World Championship. Last year, I had a minor meet in Cuba, and I just didn't want to lift. I wasn't feeling motivated. I didn't have that fire in me that I usually do. I bombed out, which means you don't make a lift. When I got home, I didn't really get out of bed for about a week. And I had been dealing with, you know, bouts of depression for probably two years at that point. That was kind of my breaking point when I decided I needed help. And when I finally went to the doctor, the psychiatrist almost immediately recognized my symptoms and I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder type two. One of the first things I thought was that I'm crazy because it has kind of been put in my head that there's a stereotype around people that struggle with mental health. It didn't take me long to realize that there's nothing to be ashamed of. And I think I decided very early on that I was going to share this journey with others in hopes that it would help other people get help faster than I did. Once I got help, I could go to training and focus on weightlifting, not on if I'm gonna feel great today or if I'm gonna feel awful. At this point, I'm all but qualified for the Olympics, so I'm really excited to train for that, and I'm hoping to medal there and represent the USA for the first time. Good. There are some days that I literally have to push to my maximal effort and be about one rep away from failure, and it's not fun, it can be very painful, but you know, when it comes down to it, those are the days you get stronger. It's a lot of hard work, and then it's really awesome to just put everything into those few seconds that you're competing. Hey everybody, my name is Drew Beebe, and I'm here in my terrible home studio that I've made during quarantine, and I wanted to tell you about our new podcast called Great Big Story. It's got more surprising and delightful stories just like this one, so head over to Apple Podcasts, to Spotify, wherever you get your favorite podcasts, and download Great Big Story.